it's all very interesting that we're living in an era in which there is at least, I mean, you know, and this is a prototype, right? This is a prototype that was specifically trained and then placed on the internet so people could play with it. And I've seen lots of interesting um, uses. It's going to get better, right? We're dealing with ChatGPT3. There's going to be a ChatGPT4, which is going to be that much better because it will be built with the uh, improvements that have been gained through turning this one loose on the world. I have two concerns about it. One, if you imagine that this thing just gets a little better than it is, which is inevitable, that it's going to make um, actual insight that much harder to spot, right? In other words, if you become expert at operating this thing, at querying it, and it becomes better at understanding a wider range of topics because they turn it loose on everything that's written on the internet, for example, right? Then the point is the ability to fake expertise is going to go through the roof. I don't think we know how we're going to police a world in which, I mean, this is this problem's already bad enough. Most academics are fakers. They don't know that, right? They trained in something, they wrote a dissertation, they think they're experts, but you can see when something unexpected happens, like the pandemic, you get just broad scale failure across entire disciplines where nobody seems to get it right, right? So in that world, this is going to be even worse because now you have some, an artificial intelligence able to generate things in plain English that are often full of true information, but you don't know whether what generated it is some, you know, brain dead model or something else. That's one concern. And then the other concern is when we say, well, ChatGPT doesn't know what it's saying. It's not conscious. We know it's not conscious because it's not programmed to have a consciousness. We are actually ignoring the other half of the story, which is that we don't know how human consciousness works and we don't know how it develops in a child, right? A child is exposed to a world of adults talking around them and the child experiments first with phonemes and then words and then clusters of words and then sentences. And by doing something that isn't all that far from what ChatGPT is doing, it ends up becoming a conscious individual. And so I think it's clear that ChatGPT isn't conscious. It couldn't be. But it isn't clear to me, at least, that we are not suddenly stepping onto a process that produces that very quickly without us even necessarily knowing it.